just got off the minibus that picked us up from the hotel and dropped us off at this little beach about 15 minutes away from the hotel and we're just waiting for the boat to come so we can go explore the islands We're gonna try some local Red Bull. The packaging is cute. Hi. Can I please get a big bottle of water and the Red Bull? One Red Bull. One Red Bull. Cool. You need plastic bag? Yes, please. Do you have a straw? How many? Just one. Thank you so much. Okay. Ready for it? Right. Ready to go on a boat? The boat fits about 10 to 15 people. We had only one other couple and group of four ladies with us, so there was lots of room on the boat. Like at any tourist destination, you have plenty of options for tour providers to choose from. This time, we didn't do much research. We booked our tour pretty much at the first tour provider we passed by yesterday while walking around in Senang. The tour will include visit to two islands and participation in eagle feeding. It was 30 ringgit per person, did not include lunch, food or drinks. But for that we have big plans for dinner in the evening. We got to our first destination. It was a really windy ride. They actually use power boats here comparing to Thailand where they use old school boats and it takes so much longer to get to any destination. It took us from the mainland to this island about 10 minutes and we just got off at the and we just got off at Dayang Bunting Dayang Bunting. We got to the first island and we just got off at Dayang Bunting. And we just got off at Dayang Bunting Marble. And it's actually a part of the Geo Park. Let's go take a look. Jumping into fresh water lake. Как тебе там? Рыба? Акула. The entrance fee to the Geo Park is 6 ringgit per person. The main attraction of this island is the fresh water lake. It was very refreshing to take a dip after a walk through the rainforest. We spent here about an hour and we are on our way to Eagle Feeding Spot. Island. It's a beautiful sandy island, however, 
we saw a more secluded side of it to the right when you exit from the boat. Everyone seems to go to the main side of the island, but as always, we're gonna explore the other side. We walked to the other side of the island and now I understand why we were so drawn to this part of the island. Because it reminds us of where Jax proposed almost a year ago. It's very similar with the hanging trees and being very secluded, short distance from the beach to the water. It was it looked exactly like that. The island hopping tour took most part of our day. We were a bit tired, but still we were very much looking forward to our dinner plans in the evening. We had plans to go out for dinner, but they drastically changed after we took a hot shower and jumped into a cozy bed. So we decided to order some, uh, some food into the room as a room service and have dinner in bed and watch a movie, like, like home. So we got ourselves some beef redang for Jack's, which is a local stew, beef stew, with some vegetables. And for myself, I got some fried noodles, also local dish with some cattlefish, some shrimp and chicken, and fried egg on top. I would go better for pizza, but no pizza options were available. So we settled for this. Nom nom. Cut. I wanna eat. 